Hello everyone and welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution video on my channel with the induction of mods of course. In today's video we're building the, well we have built the habitat for a Suchomimus, a Denonicus, Albertosaurus, we've also got the guest appearances of a Compi, a pack of Compies, and a Dilophosaurus as well. So a couple of um, iconic dinosaurs of the Jurassic World films in there, or Jurassic Park film should I say, with the Compi and Dillo. Um, I don't think Denonicus has ever made an appearance. Well, so Denonicus in this game isn't actually, you know, paleontolic accurate. Um, would have had a lot of feathers on it, uh, apparently, so... Maybe there's a mod out there for that, maybe we'll, we'll add that in at some point. Um, so yeah, the idea behind this one was a swampy area, lowland swampy, rocks in there, trees in the swamps, grass everywhere, for the Suchomimus. And the grassland was obviously for the Albertosaurus, the Denonicus, the Dilophosaur, and the Compies. It didn't take too long to create, um, as I'm adding in the rocks here to just add some more naturalness to the, the actual habitat. But I didn't actually know what to really put in it. The Suchomimus was a given, like, I didn't want to put Spinosaurus in here, I didn't want to put Baryonyx in here. I feel like it's just not suitable, I feel like the Suchomimus is more of a swamp monster, so to speak, than a Baryonyx and uh, Spinosaurus. Uh, they'll get their, you know, they'll get their habitat. I mean, there's a big river that I've got running through the island, which needs a bit of TLC doing to it, which I will get onto as soon as possible. But we're not focusing on that right now, we're focusing on this um, habitat. That big open area there won't be as open, obviously, when the next habitat comes into play. But yeah, it's just... You know, this is maybe what it would have looked like for these dinosaurs when they were alive, roaming around. Like, this is what they would have been in. I mean, obviously we don't know, but we can speculate. And personally for me, I think it's quite fitting that Sukumamus has this lowland, all these trees, grass. And then the Albertosaurus has got the fields, a few trees, the Denonicus running around, little compies everywhere. The Dillo suits it perfectly. When you see him in there, he's got, you know, he the perfect colour with the grass as well, he blends in perfect, the compies are invisible anyway, you can't really see them. So yeah, our friend's getting flown over now to drop in, it's a long flight, I mean, do not help how slow the bloody helicopters fly, but, you know. We've got the fish feeder in there for the Sukumimus as well. Just a, just a nice looking area really, I'm quite proud of it. Um, like I said, it took a little bit of time because I didn't really know what to do. Not the most <laughs> creative person when it comes to building a habitat for a creature that doesn't exist. <laughs> so, until it drops in there, I didn't change its skin. No need to change its skin. It, you know, it's pretty perfect for what we want to do in the area that it's in. It's worth noting that I have included the genomes. Well, not included, but you know, added genomes to every single dinosaur. They're all attack and defense. So it's the best attack and the best defense you can get on each of them. At some point, maybe we might do, you know, a winner of each habitat, you know, like a free-for-all winner versus each other from the habitats. You know, I think that would be pretty cool as we stop there to try and get a screenshot, but didn't didn't work out. And it goes to grab a fish, which is a cool new addition, I guess. Well, I'd say it's new. It's not new anymore, but it was new. Um, bang. Congratulations. So yeah, we're going to move on now to the guest appearances. The little compi. Not just one, there is five, but they don't... Well, they do like being together, but this one just likes to not be with the rest. And it turns out, it becomes the alpha eventually, I think. It's, it keeps swapping and changing between the alphas. I think he ends up becoming the alpha. And he's nowhere near his gang. Um, We've also got another guest appearance coming up soon. Obviously the company is very famous in, I say very famous, it's quite famous in the Jurassic Park movies for just being a little bastard, really. <laughs> and they are a little bastard in this, it must be said, you cannot see them at all. And they are, obviously, super quick. But, you know, it feels right having them in here, in a big area, you know. In the grass, invisible pretty much. Pretty cool. And here's our next guest. The lovely Dilophosaur. 
notorious for spitting in <laughs> the face of oh, I forget his name in the car. Anyone will know what I'm talking about. I forgot his name. Um, it's an iconic scene that bit. The guy just seems to the door for saw just walks around doing that constantly and um, doing its weird, you know, switching noise. And here's its, you know, friends over here, the Denonicus. Now, the skin on this one is amazing, and it's actually not too, you know, far-fetched. I mean, there is orange plants in there. So, it's not actually too ridiculous. It actually looks okay, if you ask me. Um, the other Denonicus is like a bluey, grey colour, white colour. So it's a bit, you know, extraordinary for this sort of terrain, but we make it work you know we don't know what these creatures actually look like you know you never knew you never know if there was a white dinosaur in this area we'll never know so you can only speculate you can only guess you just do what you want really um I, the third one i don't know what skin we put on that one i can't i don't even show it i don't think but we do have say it's not it's not really a problem but here you can't see it as much because all the dinos are quite separated and spread out but later on they're all in the they're all in the corner over there in the far corner, which I hope's not a regular occurrence, we'll see, but I hope it's not like that. We also end up closing off the Super Minus area, we make it into a separate enclosure, so it doesn't, you know, it, I mean it's not actually left that entire area, so actually I'm quite proud of the fact that it's not actually leaving where it should be, but I end up closing it off anyway, and so the whole grassland area, basically the whole land that like, runs around the, the water, gets corned off by obviously a fence and you know, the Denonicus and the Dillos, the Dilophosaur and the Compi and the Albertosaurus can just roam around in that as free will. And speaking of uh, the Albertosaurus, here he is. Perfect skin, you know, it matches the area immaculately as he comes over to the river for a drink. Beautiful dinosaur, got a uh, Allosaurus head, uh, T-Rex face, mouth so to speak, and an allo body really. Um, it was a hard choice to think of what to actually put in it, but I did go with the Albertosaurus in the end. Um, no particular reason other than I didn't actually know it was in the game. I had no idea. For whatever reason, after 200 hours in this game, I did not know it was in the game. So, I decided to add that instead of anything else. I was going to add the Acro. I was going to... Add, it was tempting to add a T-Rex, quite a nice area for a T-Rex, but we might do that next. Maybe with Baryonyx in that part of the river and a T-Rex roaming the lands, you know. We'll see, we'll see. But that's pretty much it. As you can see there, you, everything is congregated in one area. You can't see the compass, so it's not as if that matters, but hopefully that's not a reoccurring problem. But that's pretty much it. In the next one, we should be doing Baryonyx and a few other little critters to roam around with it so I'll uh, thank you very much for watching like I said this is you know the best we can come up with for what these dinosaurs would have lived in that's the aim of the series to try and get every carnivore in a habitat that it would have lived in I think we're doing a pretty good job so far everyone's enjoying the new homes aren't you? yeah thought so so yeah thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.